What's up everybody, Marvel the Cross 316 back with another comic book flashback and today folks we are looking at Ultimate Spider-Man issue number 68. Today's title is popular and we see that we have Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, appearing in this issue. Um, at this point I believe, and I'm not certain you can correct me, but I believe that the Fantastic Four had just uh, debuted in the Ultimate Universe. Because what we're going to see in this issue is that a lot of people do not know the Fantastic Four. They're kind of brand new on the scene. And that's where we're going to pick up. But previously in Ultimate Spider-Man, Peter Parker is still reeling from the violent death of his friend Gwen Stacy at the hands of Carnage, a genetic monstrosity half cloned from Peter's DNA elsewhere in Manhattan. We see that we're going to pick up the issue in the Baxter building, right in the heart of Manhattan. And what we're going to see is that Sue Storms and Reed Richards are going to be confronting Johnny Storm about uh, getting his high school diploma. So, right now, the, the Fantastic Four are pretty new, I would say, and they've been fighting and saving the world time and time again. And uh, what Sue Storms wants for her brother is to get his diploma. Because if he can get his diploma, then if there's a chance that the Fantastic Four would lose their powers, then at least Johnny Storm would have his high school diploma so he can at least get a job. But Johnny Storm isn't having any of it. He's like, why would I want a high school um, diploma when I could be famous? And she's like, Johnny, how could you be famous? And he says, because of this. Look, I'm a freaking superhero now. We are all we all are. See, I'm going to be rich and famous, so why bother? I can light on fire and fly. Listen, we've already saved the world a couple of times and super secret. So yes, super secret. And the internet is all a buzz. They're going to pop. We're going to be huge. And I'm going to be up to my elbows with the honeys. <laughs> this is the funny. He says, Reed Richard says, yeah. She says, sweetie. And so, oh, sorry. <laughs> and she said, look, Johnny, we got to get you in school because there could be a chance that we could lose our powers. And then the thing says, you got a date on when that might be. And so, Johnny finally is going to give in, and he says, Okay, look, I'll do it, but nothing fancy, okay? I will go to school, just some normal out-of-the-way high school, maybe like in Queens. And so, that is where Johnny Storm is going to go. He's going to go to the same school as Peter Parker. And we see that Kong is the one that is now being a bully to Peter Parker. He trips him up in the hallway. Um, he falls down, he said, dude, what the heck, and then we see that Flash Thompson's trying to start a fight here between Kong and Peter Parker, they're all saying, fight, 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 and while all this is going on, Liz Allen looks, and there is Johnny Storm, she doesn't know who he is, but she has a humongous crush on him, just, uh, it's like love at first sight for her, and we see that the teacher's going to break it up, and so everybody goes to lunch, and we see that Mary Jane comes to the fence of Peter Parker, saying, "You, Flash, or why, are, I mean, Kong, why are you picking on Peter like this? You don't like it when Flash picks on you, so why are you doing it to him? Do unto others. And Liz Allen also is um, pointing her finger at Flash, saying, it's not cool, I don't like when you guys do this to Peter, it's not cool. And then we see MJ is going to come to the defense of Peter as well, and, he's, and she says, Peter gets more action than you. He said, yeah, well, I'm more into quality, Watson. Zing! And then she's like, you... And uh, she starts cussing. Peter has to hold her back. And he's like, geez. And MJ says, you okay, Peter? And Peter says, it just really gets to me sometimes. Why do they do that? 
One day he's my friend, the next he's doing stuff like that. He's a Nimrod. And we see that Liz is still looking at Johnny here. And so what Liz is, she's too scared, she's too timid to go up to Johnny and talk to him. So she wants MJ to do it instead for her, to ask him if he is seeing anybody. And so they're all talking. Peter's like, oh my gosh. And so they keep talking. And then we see MJ's like, Peter, do guys like confidence in girls? Girls with confidence? And Peter says, guys like skanky outfits. He said, I speak the truth. He said, Mary Jane Watson, Watson Parker. That's the first time we see that in, in this series. So Liz is referring to MJ and Peter being married one day. And she's like, huh, it has a ring to it. And MJ's like, you're not helping. He said, he's too hot for you. And Liz is like, what do you mean by that? And so we see that everybody's in lunch. Um, we see that Johnny is eating by himself. He's like, man, this food is cold. So he, without anybody looking, he touches the meat and warms it up with his power and starts eating. He gets a, um alert from his phone, and it's Reed. And Reed says, you can't use your powers in front of the other kids. He's like, what? How do you know that? And said, your watch is a monitor. Don't do that. All of a sudden, while he's on the phone, Mary Jane Watson approaches Johnny Storm. And what she's going to say, she says, I'm Mary Jane Watson Parker. <laughs> so that's funny stuff. She's, oh, I mean, I'm Mary Jane Watson. So as they get to get to know each other, she's asking for Liz Allen. And she asks him, hey, do you like blondes? He's like, uh, Yeah. He said, well, my friend, you know, she's blonde. He said, oh, yeah, well, stupid, yeah, stupid me. You are blonde. So, duh, so, like, you hate yourself, right? Um, do you like blondes? And even if you did, seriously, you shouldn't be so shallow as to judge a woman solely based on her hair color. And Johnny's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Mary Jane says, my friend Liz, blonde in the back, staring at you but pretending not to. He said, hey, don't look. He said, okay, so she asked me to ask you. She wanted me to know if you are seeing anyone. He says, I'm not. Mary Jane says, do you like girls? And he says, yes, but I'm not so shallow as to judge a girl by her hair color if that's what you are insinuating. And so she's like, look, me and Liz, we meet each other in the parking lot after school. Would you be willing to meet us in the parking lot after school and then maybe at the mall? And Johnny says, it's agreed. I'll do it. So they shake hands. So we see that Liz finally gets to meet Johnny here after school. And we see that Mary Jane is with Peter Parker. And she says, well, I guess I did my good deed for the day. And she said, look, you need to get over Gwen's death. And Peter's like, I know, but she's still dead. And she's like, well, I miss her too, and I love you. And Peter says, I love you too. They kiss. And then she's like, oh my gosh, I have this crazy idea. Let's go on this fancy date. He said, I want to dress up in fancy clothes, and I want to go to, like, Tavern on the Green, and I want to blow all of our money and have a really fancy dinner. He said, Why? Because my mom told me she did that once, and she was our age, and it sounded awesome, and we deserve it. He's like, okay, yeah, let me just scrap, you know, some money together um, after work, you know, after working a few times, and um, we'll go on this fancy date. He said, this is awesome. So they hug each other. He says, you know what, I really like you not being Spider-Man so much anymore thing. But then he gets mad at her for saying that. And she says, oh gosh, why did I say that? So Liz finally approaches them, gives them the news that um, they are definitely going to go to the beach together. And she's like, look, my mom and dad won't let me go with him alone. You guys got to come with me. It's at Rockaway Beach on Friday night. And Peter's like, uh, we got to go there. So I'll be wearing a bikini. So, okay. 
And so we see that Kong also comes along with Mary Jane and Peter Parker and Liz. And he's like, why is he hanging out with us? We're sophomores, and he's a senior. But MJ and Liz are too busy staring at Johnny Storm. And so we see here that they continue to talk. Way into the night, we see a couple of other people join them, and they're around this bonfire, and they're talking about what happened at school that time when the Green Goblin attacked the school with uh, Spider-Man came on the scene. And we reveal here that Johnny Storm actually admires Spider-Man. He thinks he's an awesome guy. Who else do you know that goes out and helps people with no agenda? And so while Johnny is talking, he sticks his hand um, accidentally into the fire. He's like, oh crap. And he bursts into flame here. Peter's like, oh my gosh. And then we end the issue here. Johnny Storm has now become the Human Torch. And he's like, uh, I can explain this. And so that is how we end this issue, folks. What is going to happen coming up next in issue number 69? Will uh, the Human Torch be able to explain himself with everybody looking at him? And also, is Liz Allen still going to like Johnny, even when Johnny is now known for being a superhero? And so that's the big um, thing we got to worry about. But we'll be looking at all that in issue number 69 coming up next. But before then, go ahead now and give this video a like. Comment down below what you liked about this issue. Subscribe if you have not. And I will see y'all in the next one.